Let's take a look at an introduction to the chi-square distribution. This is the Greek letter chi, C-H-I, and we call this distribution the chi-square, or chi-squared distribution. The chi-square distribution is a continuous probability distribution that is widely used in statistical inference. It is related to the standard normal distribution in that if a random variable z has the standard normal distribution, then that random variable squared has a chi-square distribution with one degree of freedom. Let's see what that looks like visually. Here we have a standard normal distribution. Now, if we were to square the random variable here, we get a distribution that looks like this. Now, note the axes are changing here, so you don't have the same values on the axes. But this is a chi-square distribution with one degree of freedom. It's a little hard to see here, but it is this distribution here looks something like that. Now this can actually be generalized a little bit in that if z1 through zk are independent standard normal random variables and we square them all and add them up, then we get a chi-square distribution with k degrees of freedom. The sum of k squared independent standard normal random variables has a chi-square distribution with k degrees of freedom. Now, the probability density function of the chi-square distribution looks something like this. You may not need to know the actual PDF, but let's look at a couple of bits here. If you do need to know something about the PDF, this is something called the gamma function there. But that may not be something that's all that important for you, depending on how you use this distribution. A few things that are important. One, note here that it takes on these values when x is bigger than or equal to 0. We can't have negative values with the chi-square distribution, which stands to reason if we're squaring standard normal random variables and adding them up. Note a couple of other things. The mean of a chi-square distribution is equal to the degrees of freedom, which we're calling k here. And the variance of a chi-square distribution is equal to twice the degrees of freedom, or 2k. Let's see what this looks like in a plot. Here I have three chi-square distributions plotted out. The chi-square distribution only has one parameter, the degrees of freedom. And that parameter tells us what the shape is going to be, what the mean is, what the variance is. But this is a chi-square distribution with three degrees of freedom. This is a chi-square distribution with six degrees of freedom. And this is a chi-square distribution with 12 degrees of freedom. Now note a few things. As the degrees of freedom increase, we saw on the PDF page that the mean is increasing. So we should see here, it looks like the mean is increasing as the degrees of freedom increase. It's a little bit harder to tell, but the variance is increasing as well. But one thing we can note here is that the chi-square distribution has some right skewness. You can see this right skewness here. But that right skewness starts to decrease as the degrees of freedom increase. When we have 12 degrees of freedom here, we don't have as much skewness as we did when we had three degrees of freedom. So that right skewness is starting to go away as the degrees of freedom increase. And that is something called the central limit theorem at work. Now if we're doing any probability calculations or statistical inference procedures, we're gonna have to find areas under the curve and percentiles for the chi-square distribution. And to find those areas and percentiles for the chi-square distribution, we're going to have to use computer software or a chi-square table. And I've got different videos showing you how to do that.